after new reports show he failed for months to address allegations of sexual harassment that were lodged against the North Carolina Democratic Party's former executive director by a junior staffer. Now, the incident has become a mess for the state party. On Tuesday, the governor, Bev Perdue, dodged questions by reporters all day about this. My comment continues to be this is an internal personnel matter at the party. Would you support an investigation to get to the bottom of what happened? This is an internal personnel matter. When did you learn about the allegations or the settlement? Again, this is an internal personnel matter mm -hmm. that the party is working on. Now, the settlement they're referring to is that there was a settlement with the junior staffer paid for by the state party. Now, but by last night, it was a chorus of Democrats calling for the state party chairman, Parker, to step down, including the governor, who said in a harshly worded statement, quote, I am reiterating my call for the chairman of the party to resign. The process laid out by the chairman in this email late today to executive committee members is totally unacceptable. The chairman needs to go. David Parker is now apparently operating out of a hotel in Raleigh. Why is this especially embarrassing for Democrats? Folks, we got it. On the week of September 3rd, 2012, the Democratic National Convention is coming to North Carolina. That's the party chairman talking about the party convention there. By the way, President Obama visits North Carolina next week. I can report the DNC is doing everything they can to get Parker to leave. He apparently just won't leave. All right. Any hope that the Senate would break the budget deadlock before November seemed to vanish Wednesday after.